how often do we really think about our housing? You know, it's kind of just this thing that we expect to be there. But then when you start talking about affordable housing and people not being able to afford to pay rent or, you know, all the, like they pay the rent, but now they don't have groceries or they can't they have no money to you know, get to work or, you know, all of these different you know, pieces of our lives um, that all stem from where you live. My name is Denitric Powers, I'm a cultural curator and a co-owner of Counterspace Gallery. I'm currently working with Redeemer Center for Life um, as part of this Art Place grant um, to create a housing security pipeline um, for Harrison residents. What Redeemer wants to do is you know, leverage uh, the grant to help people either secure new leases or transition from you know, a lease right now into home ownership. Um, but it's also to create this larger um, story and you know, narrative around housing. The conversation around housing is, can be very volatile at times um, and very ambiguous and, and complex. When I was working at the Neighborhood Association um, and you know, having these conversations with homeowners and you know, renters, you start seeing the dynamics between those uh, two different groups of people. Homeowners, you know, a lot of them you know, are, have close relationships with their neighbors who are also homeowners. Um, but do you have a relationship with you know the apartment building, uh, you know down the street, you know, and people inside the apartment building might have relationships, but do they know anybody that you know is a homeowner in the neighborhood? What we want to do is engage with those two, two different groups of people, and you know start listening to you know what is their relationship with their with their home housing situation, um, you know how do they view themselves as a homeowner or a renter, you know what's their relationship to the neighborhood? I hope that people in the community. Uh, get a greater appreciation of art and how art can be used as a vehicle to you know have these conversations. Art helps us self-actualize. Um, creativity helps us self-actualize. Like when you're in the creative process you get to see something that you created using your own hands, your own mind, um, your own intellect um, that you may not have thought that, that was there before. Art, art is needed. Like art is all around us. Um, you know, so, so that's, how, that's how I see, you know, art and uh, community, you know, working together. So we have a total of four artists. One of those artists is, uh, her name is Shavonda. Um, Shavonda, she's originally from Texas, but she's been here for in Minneapolis for a while. Uh, we actually went to undergrad over at the U of M. She was in, uh, I think, the theater, theater program there. Um, e excellent artist, you know, just, you know, I, I've seen her creativity and the way that she, you know, she does, does a lot of different things, you know, theater, music. Um, you know, she's a you know, community healer and she does a lot of work with youth. And then you have um, Heja, you know, who rents from, uh, rents from Redeemer and we used to be neighbors. They used to live in the same building as her. You know, so I'm excited to see what she's going to bring, you know, to the project. Um, you have Nestor, who is, um, you know, he's an organizer, community organizer. He works over at the Neighborhood Association right now. And he's been living in the neighborhood for quite a while now. Um, you know, an excellent organizer, you know, helped on the 15 Now campaign. And then we have um, Amoke, um, who is an, um, an, an elder in the community, you know, who's an artist herself. And she currently lives in a, a senior living uh, situation, you know, where she does projects, you know, with people in her building. And, you know, she writes books and, you know, creates, you know, theatrical pieces. To me, that's a very dynamic group. Those are people who, you know, reflect North Minneapolis, the creativity that's possible coming out of North Minneapolis. Their creativity um, can transform, you know, the, the conversation, you know, transform, you know, people's lives just by interacting with them. Once I became an organizer, like, I started seeing how creative I could be in that role. As I was self-actualizing myself through my art, I started seeing the possibilities that, of what it could do for other people. You know, I've, I've been able to see that, see the power of art and social change.